Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Uh, I was working on a problem the other day and thought I'd share it with you. It was a DHCP issue where uh, the client was not getting an IP address, or so that was the complaint. And I thought, hey, let's go through some packets together. I got to do it anyways, why not? So here's our trace file. And you can see there's a bunch of stuff in there. Specifically, if you want to really see what we got, we got 37 packets. I've kind of cleaned it up for us just to make sure that we don't spend too much time going through it. So the big thing is DHCP. How do you find DHCP packets? Most people will come up to the display filter dialog box and type DHCP. And if you notice the background's pink or salmon, as a lot of the people know I like to make fun of, and that means it's no good. So that's not how to do that. So the best way to find DHCP packets is to use the proper filter, which is boot P. There you go. Enter and bingo, there's your packets. So we can see there's the um, offer, request, acknowledge, and, oh, and there's a decline. So that's what happened. So why might it be declined? Well, before we get to that, I was explaining to the customer the good news. The good news is your DHCP, DHCP server, there you go. The DHCP server is up and running, obviously. There's communication going back and forth. That's the good news. So the DHCP server is not misbehaving. The network is working. The packets are moving around. So kind of look on the brighter side of things, so to speak. That put aside, now we can get to the problem. Well, what's going on with this decline? Well, if we take a look here at DHCP acknowledge, and that's from the DHCP server. If I slide this little detail box up, if you don't have the detail box, by the way, it's just under view, packet details, it's just a toggle. You can turn it on and off. There you go. From here, you can actually see it says your client IP address, 172.16.5.13. And, and this is the address the, the, guy, the guy wanted, the guy was asking for. And you can go back through to validate that, but that's pretty well what it is. So he's supposed to get 5.13. 5 he wanted 5.13, but for some reason, this didn't work out. And we don't know why. So if we pay attention to these packet numbers, these frame numbers here, we got 3, 4, 5, and then 29. So due to the filter, we don't see 6 through 28. So what I'd like to do is highlight 29. I'm going to clear my filter just to see what happens. And from there, I'm going to also get rid of my details. So what happened? There's my decline. And just before the decline, you can actually see there's a gratuitous ARP. And this is the way that computers and other hosts use to validate or check to see if they have a duplicate IP. And you can see here this uh, Cisco device is saying, hey, I want, I want to ARP for my IP. Anybody else out there? And, and you can actually see um, gratuitous ARP 5.13 reply. It's a reply duplicate use of 5.13. So what that means is this Cisco LI Linksys device, probably a home router of some kind, uh, came back and said, I got 13. This is the reply. So where where is this guy? So H-O-N-H-A-I ARP. So if I just go up, one, two, there it is. So up here on 25, he asked, he said, hey, who's got my IP? Tell me. And specifically the way ARP works is it says, I know the IP, I don't know the Mac, tell me. So if I was to turn back on the detail screen, you can see in the ARP packet here, it says the source MAC address, I know what that is. This, the uh, sender IP address, I don't know what that is. But I do know the target IP address. So he's kind of f leaving some spots empty for anybody else to fill in. And that's basically what he's doing. He's saying, hey, I've got an IP address. Does anybody else have 5.13? Please tell me. This fellow here comes back. The Cisco says, hey, I do. I got that IP. And then he says, oh, can't use that, and declines the IP address. So that's it in a nutshell. We could spend a lot more time on it, but I kind of wanted to just give you the highlights of that. Hopefully that kind of made sense. Um, the the punchline, the, the final uh, story on this, is the fact that the DHCP server's scope was too limited. There wasn't enough IPs in the scope. So other people uh, had IPs and he was trying to give out IPs that were already in use. That's it. So hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.